Hello everyone. Today let's learn about secure views of Snowflake. This is one of the feature that will help you in managing data security and privacy of your Snowflake's data on the cloud. Let's get started. Secure views. In this video, we will go through what are secure views in Snowflake, how to create them and use them, a demo of secure views in action and also architectural considerations we have to keep in mind while using secure views. Because of some internal optimization for views, access to normal views may expose base table structures, functions and other program details and you may not want to expose such details in certain cases. This is especially important when you share the data directly with clients or third party users. In case of RDBMS like Oracle or SQL Server, if you run query execution plan on uh, such views, even when you do not provide data dictionary access, they reveal most of the underlying details. How does Snowflake address this issue? Welcome to secure views of Snowflake. These secure views expose only the data and does not expose any other details to end users. And how do we create a secure view? We can create it simply by adding a secure keyword in our create view statement. Let's jump straight on to a demo of how to create a view as well as how do we use it. I will not go into the details of everything else but I'll only focus my attention on secure views in this video. So I have a table here which has um, the patient details along with organization ID or in other words this is the hospital to which these patients belong to. I can create a secure view simply by adding a secure keyword here and then I can list the patients again it's the same uh, same details that you'll see if i list all the views i have two views here one is called my customer view other one is org patients so if you see the last column here it says whether it is whether these uh, views are secure or not the first one is not whereas the second one is now i can also see the um, underlying view detail because i am the owner of this view. We will go ahead and create other additional users and grant limited access to those two users so that we can see the difference. Let's look at a little more complex secure view which will provide row level security on the data and provide the access only to the intended users. So I created a user access table with org id and account id account id is the end users uh, snowflake account number and uh, that is mapped to the hospitals they belong to and if we list out the users this is the records i have each of the hospitals have one account associated and um, if I run a join on patient and this account, I should be able to get all these records. So, so if I filter, um, if I connect a user belonging to this account, he should be able to access only two patients starting their name start with S and they belong to the hospital Bayer, Bayer Hospital and remaining two should be accessible by the account uh, by the users who belong to this account now in order to do that I have a function called current account that gives me the currently logged in users account name so in this case I'm the owner of this view and I have um, as you can see here I have my account name and that is what I get with this function so I ended uh, I went ahead and created a secure view in addition to the same contents, uh, I have a where clause which says account ID equal to current account. So essentially this is going to check current users account and map that with the data. So let's try to pull the records from this view for me. I do not get any list 
any records here because I do not have any records in this table mapped to my current account. Whereas if I create additional accounts with additional users with these accounts, I should be able to access the, their data. All right, just before I move out, I will just check. Um, yes, this or patients is a secure view and I can also get its DDL with this get DDL command. All right, so now I have already set up um, an additional user called uh, Arnold and he has org patients and his account is P starts with PO and if he runs org patients view he gets exactly two records belonging to Mayo Clinic. I have set up another, another account called uh, Suraj and when he runs the same um, org patients view he gets the other two records that are associated with his org or the account so this is how role level security works with secure views now if i issue the same earlier commands um, that we tried in the other account if i try here show views shows me that it is secured and now i do not get to see the view definition here this is one of the distinction when you are on a reader account which is viewing the secure contents you do not get to see any further details however i can check the contents it will show you show me only the uh, minimum details that i'm allowed to see since i'm able to access the data it will still show me the column names and their data type and uh, the minimum details but it will never reveal any further details like from where the data is sourced so that was about the secure views now let's switch back definition of the secure views is available only to the authorized users in our case it is the owner of the view and no one else will be able to get to the details while implementing secure views you also can consider using materialized views instead of secure views um, if you look at how they are architecturally different materialized views are going to be offline so once you materialize it they will not be connected to the live data anymore whereas secure views as well as the normal views they are getting the live data from the underlying tables and running all that logic dynamically performance wise yes um, the normal views as well as secure views will be slower compared to materialized views but again the choice depends on the need of the project so normal views uh, if you are using normal views when you run query optimizers using the reader accounts which are granted access they will still be able to scan through the underlying tables and all the logic and they may show you a lot of details related to its base tables whereas if it is a secure view you will not be able to see any of those another factor that should influence your architectural decision is that Secure views are a little less performant compared to normal views. Now you should be able to choose between materialized views or normal views or a secure view in Snowflake. I hope you learned quite a lot about secure views today and you will be able to use it in Snowflake related projects. In the next video, we will look at data sharing of Snowflake that will also use the secure views that we created in this video. If this video was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. Thanks.